Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to a new episode of IMDb Movie Trivia for New Show Plus, also from MinMax. My name is Ben Hansen. Thank you for watching this. I'm joined by Kyle Hilliard. Hello, on a rare New Show Plus appearance for me. Yeah, this is this is New Show Plus. Every week we let $10 supporters on Patreon of patreon.com slash minmax with two ends fame jump in, vote to choose which new show we create or continue. And after we talked about it on the Min Max Show podcast a while ago, the day of doing, um, or how obsessed you are, Kyle, with IMDb movie trivia, it's like, yeah. well, we got to get Kyle on for some sort of thing here, some sort of trivia-based thing. So this is going to be trivia based on IMDb, IMDb movie facts. Little factoids, but the keywords have been bleeped out, and it's Kyle v. me, uh, just like the famous court case to determine... Who knows more about movies? Is that the idea, Kyle? Yeah, and I guess we should, up top, we should make it clear that IMDb trivia is not always right. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, uh, just it's it's all, you know, user sort of submitted, and, you know, sometimes there's just straight up lies in there, which just makes the competition more exciting. It makes it more fun. Now, a couple things on the screen I want to explain to everybody. First of all, the thing right above me right here, new show overflow, if we hit our sub goal, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you. You can always follow us on Twitch. If we hit our sub goal on Twitch, we are bringing back New Show Overflow, which is a bonus episode of New Show Plus where we revive in an idea that was rejected because every single week we let people vote for New Show Plus. There are a ton of great ideas, ideas we want to do that don't get voted for, but we have a list. And so when we hit the top of this sub goal, uh, then we will be reviving a rejected idea for a bonus episode, something we call New Show Overflow. Now, Kyle, you might be wondering, wait, if it's me versus you, who's hosting this dang trivia thing, huh? Uh, I'm not, yes, I'm, what's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. We got uh, the finest folks around from the MinMax Council tier. Uh, you might be familiar with Party Chat, our bonus podcast for Patreon supporters, um, where each and every week we take questions. Uh, we have to answer every question. We're legally obligated to answer every question from people at the MinMax Council tier, the $20 tier on Patreon. And we thought, well, why not let them host this trivia game? So everybody in the MinMax community compiled the list of prompts and questions for IMDb, IMDb movie trivia, um, but I haven't seen any of it. And so we're gonna be rotating through these folks for reading the prompts. So your hosts for the first episode of IMDb movie trivia, we have Bob Buell. Hello. We have Hammer Parsa. Hello. We have B Wood. B Wood, this is when you jump in and say hello if you want. Oh, can you not hear me? Okay, we have you now. We're also joined by Brian Vore. Hello, I'm a friend of the show and not as cool as the council people. <laughs> <laughs> Technically a friend of the show who just jumped in uh, not understanding what this premise was, but you're here now, baby. All right, so Bob Buell is going to be keeping track of the whole competition, the score, and Kyle, whoever wins this obviously is the true movie fanatic because, look, I feel in my bones like i know more about movies than you do but i don't think that's true i think i'm just wrong with that <sighs> assumption yeah i don't know that's this is this is why we're here this to figure here. out the answer to that question yeah. right is also what, yeah. do you think the fact that you um lose sleep every night because you're just reading imdb movie facts do you think it's going to help you in this game or hurt you I, I mean, it's in theory, it should help. <laughs> you think so? You think I mean, so. I don't. I, I uh, thankfully, I don't struggle a lot with sleep. But on the occasions that I do, my go-to genuinely is just looking up random movies that probably I haven't seen and reading all the IMDb <sighs> trivia about them. Oh my god! All right, this is it, everybody. Uh, again, if you want to help support this show, you're welcome to uh, by subscribing to MinMax on YouTube, by following us on Twitch, twitchtv show, uh, helping us hit our new show overflow goal. Or if you want to jump into party chat and be just like these fine folks in the Minimax Council tier, you can jump in at the twenty dollars tier on Patreon. Uh, without further ado, Bob, you want to kick off mm -hmm. this big show, man? I'd love to. Great. All right. So buzz in with your names here. Okay. And then just to be clear, if one person gets it wrong, the other person gets a stab or a, a chance to steal, as I say in Family Feud, right? Correct. They get a okay. stab say... and a chance to steal. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, is it, um, do you get multiple chances to steal? Ooh. No, you get one, right? You're I mean, you get one guess. Are you asking me? Uh, 
I would I would think each One guess. person gets a guess okay. each, and then the question is kind of a wash. Right? Okay. I think that great, makes great, sense. Great. Yep, I think that's fair. Um, great. Uh, Bob, we are ready whenever you are, man. All right. Question number one. Trivia number one. Trivia number one, <laughs> as they say. <laughs> as they say. The studio originally wanted to call the film House Ghosts. As a joke, blank suggested the name Kyle. Scared. Oh, Kyle. Is it Scary Movie? This is not Scary Movie. Oh, I'm oh. sorry. Okay. So, uh, Hanson to Steel, I'll finish the, the trivia here. As a joke, blank suggested the name Scared Sheetless and was horrified. Ben, Ben, when... ben, ben, oh, ben, 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 Ben. Beetlejuice, Bob. This is Beetlejuice. Yeah. This is Beetlejuice. I do remember that little factoid. Thanks to Blank Check. All right. Nicely done. Yeah. What's that, B-Wood? Uh, or Kyle. Yeah. So I was wondering. Someone actually asked the question I was going to ask already in chat. Uh, no, I can get used to this. No, this is oh. the rare rare case where there's no I can get used to this rules. We're, we're flying. You got to have more than two for that, I feel that. like, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Bob. A hammer, take that next one whenever you're ready. That's right, folks. <laughs> Question number two. The music video for the song Blank featured numerous celebrities who didn't appear in the Kyle. film, including Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. So this is ahead, this Kyle. is trivia for Ghostbusters, right? Wow. What? Hundred points for Kyle. What are you talking about? Yeah, the oh. the the music video for uh. Uh, you know, yeah. uh, Buster makes me feels good. It had all kinds of weird cameos, like uh, right. I yeah, think, it's yeah, bizarre. yeah, yeah. It's um, what's his name? <laughs> John John Belushi, right? I think he's in it. Yeah, uh, Devito is no, in there. I think was... right. <laughs> John Belushi, Chase, was... Irene Sira, John Candy, Melissa Gilbert, right. Ollie okay. E. Brown, Jeffrey and Tambor, I... George Went, whoa, and Al Franken. Al Franken, Frank, of right. course. I believe uh, Belushi was dead by this point, but he was considered yeah, as yes. Brian and to be in the cast member, right? Yeah, he was Slimer. I, how many times do I have to tell you? Yeah, I got him Onion in Head. Yeah. Uh, okay, perfect. So it's one to one, right, Bob? Correct. Uh, no, Bob said I got 100 points for that. For I think Hammer said that, and uh, that didn't Oh, count. Hammer that said that, okay. Count. But it, it, I, we, we were all very <laughs> impressed. There's no doubt we were impressed. <laughs> we're checking with the judges. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nope, just a point. <laughs> All right, I'm feeling good. I'm ready to go whenever you are. I'm B Wood, whenever you're ready. B Wood. Oh, me. Sorry, I thought it was a. Uh... Okay, all right, here we go. Uh, okay. The blue laser lights that were used in the blink Bib's egg chamber were borrowed from the hood. Ben. The Ben with. Uh, There's somebody. Ben, I'm going to go aliens. Alien is correct. Well, hang on. Oh, I, hate, I, hate, yeah. I hate to do this to myself. Oh, I did say aliens. Yeah. I did say aliens. Oh, you're... Yeah. Now, Kyle Sorry. does have a chance to steal. It's up to him to see what he does with this chance to steal. <laughs> I mean... Sorry. Nope, you're fine. Come on. You're fine. You're I, I mean, I'll... Alien. I'll take the point. Dirty point. Dirty point! Everybody in the chat, Thousands dirty point! I Poor Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> but look, no, point nonetheless. Okay, I'll <laughs> take it. I mean, I'm not going to argue with a point, so yeah, I'll take I it. Was, I was thinking of the Queen's Chamber. I, I got confused. God, I'm an idiot! All right. It's Brian. okay. It's okay, Ben. It's okay. Brian, whenever you're ready, man. Okay. I don't think pluralization is going to matter in this one, so don't worry about it this time. Okay. Oh, a hint. All right. Okay. Due to the film's cult following, it has been the subject of many outlandish myths. One of the most famous myths is that to get blank blank in the right agitated mood, he was fed only cheese sandwiches for two weeks, which he hates. Ben? What? Go ahead. The Shining? Yes! <laughs> wow! <Whoa. laughs> okay, okay. Thank Gross. you! Wow! Hey, Brian, by the way, do you want to watch that um, when it's playing at the Shining Theater again? I wouldn't mind that being an annual tradition. It's, All right. it's a, the only place to watch it as far as I'm concerned. Kyle, did you, have you been to that theater yet? Kyle? The Shining Theater? There's a theater in Edina in Minneapolis, near Edina, technically, I guess, 
that they decorated the bar and it's remade to look like the bar from The Shining. It's like a full recreation and it's freaking awesome. And they show The Shining every year. Oh, that does sound year. cool. It's very cool. All Come right. see it. Just make sure to take the stairs, not the elevator. Hey. <laughs> oh. Go, Bub's got it. Because right. of the blood, right? <laughs> That's right. Because of the okay. blood. That's right. Hang on, so is it Jack Nicholson? Is the idea is they only fed him cheese sandwiches? <laughs> Yeah, I think so. It doesn't. T it doesn't say, but okay. uh, yeah, he probably ate all that those weird snacks. You know, he's when he's in the food pantry, he probably just had to eat those weird snacks. It does look very good in that food pantry. I wish I was locked in it, honestly. Yeah, one of the things I mean, about the shining down those that... stairs like thousand times. Right, right. That would get you into bad mood. <laughs> One of the things, one of the fun things about the trivia for The Shining is it sounds like it was a fun set and like a lot of <laughs> cool pranks and stuff like yeah, that. Everyone's yeah, everyone's pulling fun pranks at each other, like trying yeah, to stab each other. Yeah, you know. All right, here we go, Bob. All right. Blank nearly died during a scene where his character is hanged. Uh, Kyle, Blank, Kyle, 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 Kyle. Oh, Kyle. Back to the Future 3. This is not Back to oh, the Future 3. Okay. Oh. Uh, Hanson is still. I'll finish the trivia here. Uh, blank remembered, quote, he stopped breathing and had to be resuscitated. Uh, ben. So, um, ben? I'm trying to think of a movie that... Uh, Ballad of Buster Scruggs. Uh, no, it's not. But, incorrect. Yeah, okay. Uh, this one was The Mummy. 1999. Oh, Brendan Fraser. I, okay, I, I believe that. it was Brendan Fraser. Yeah, I would. I do. After this, I will look. I, I, I wonder if there's a Back to the Future three bit <laughs> as well. <laughs> like I everyone, if you... anybody who has a fake hanging in a movie almost died. <laughs> yeah, <sighs> love it. Okay. Uh, by the way, I just realized the only flaw with this game, which is perfect. Bob, what's the score? Uh, two to two. Yep. Tied up. Perfect game. Are we going to like? First to 20, or when does it stop? Yeah, there's a lot of questions <laughs> here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of like questions. Like at five, five oh. till two or whatever. First, we'll make a call. How right, about first to, first to 10? I gave you 100 points. I don't know why they didn't put it in. But, okay. <laughs> I think first to 10 sounds good, and then the rest are bonus. Yeah, it's a little it's a little unbalanced, I guess, if I get 100 points for that ghost. Well, I guess it is. I mean, I'm not trying to be biased. But, right. <laughs> yeah, I know it's tough. Yeah. I think first to 10 sounds great. Yeah, sure. I agree with my idea. Uh, okay, great. Uh, Hammer, you got the next one, right? Yes. Okay. The unused music composed for this ben. film was later ben, used. Ben, 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 Go Ben. Ahead. The thing. That's right. Wow. <laughs> that, was that, was, yeah. that was quick. It was used for Hateful Eight from Tarantino. I feel like I guess that's the thing point. should have been separated. Uh, and not used as a, a trivia source, considering the deepest dive. <laughs> the other day, Dan Riker texted me and he's like, hey, have you ever seen The Thing? It's like, are you out of your mind? Like, I have a Thing poster in my house. Like, I've talked about it for hundreds of hours. Okay, love it. Thank you, Hammer. Thank Dan you. is having his, like, slumdog millionaire moment. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, Beetlejuice, The Thing? I was made his for this. His life has been leading up to this question. That's right. Okay, B. Wood, whenever you're ready. Excuse me. Blank broke Tom Cruise's underwater filming record ben. for Mission Impossible. Ben. Yes, Ben. Ben. This is Avatar The Way of Water. Uh, and it was Kate Winslet. Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. But boy, honestly, when I said my name, I was going to guess the Mission Impossible film <laughs> but Rogue Nation, right? So I'm glad I thought about it more. Um, by the way, throw your hand Real up. Quick, I'm, I'm really. What's up? I'm really impressed by you and Kyle so far on this. Like, I was reading some of it before, and I was like, I would have never gotten some of these. So, <laughs> oh, funny. Thank I, you. Thank it you, was it was Winslet, right? Is that... I just want to... Yes. Okay. I okay. don't okay. remember the one. Okay. Mm. Right. By the way, people um, also at the Minimax Council tier, throw your hand in there if you also want to jump up and uh, read some prompts, uh, just because these folks were here. Okay, Hazard wants in. Perfect. We'll get you in the rotation here, and you can just read it and keep going in order. Hello, Hazard. Hey guys. Hello. Thank you for supporting Hello. Minimax. Um, do you have uh, that Google Doc open from the Discord? Yeah, of course. I've contributed to it. Oh, awesome. All right. Oh, do you right, want to cool. take the next one after uh, Way of Water there? Uh, yeah, perfect. Let's go. Great. Uh, Karen Jenkel, daughter of movie slash name creator 
Michael Bond was almost moved to tears after the first screening she saw. For me, it was bringing to life the blank that was so real to me, and I think they got it absolutely right. Whoa. Uh, could you read that Ooh. one more time? Yeah, yeah. Karen Jankel, daughter of blank creator, Michael Bond, was almost moved to tears after the first screening she saw. For me, it was bringing to life the blank that was so real to me. And Kyle? I think they got it absolutely right. Kyle? I have Paddington? I don't know. It is Paddington. Whoa! Oh, is it? Wow. Whoa! <laughs> Very Whoa. nice. Pat yeah, that was back, okay. Buddy. I was just going off of like, Whoa. what is a really well liked adaptation where the sort of right. the children of the creator probably would have liked it? That was all I was going on. God, that's incredible. Uh, let's see, uh, Steve Lucian, you're also up here. Hello, Steve Lucian. Would you like to read a prompt? Uh, sure. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, we got you. Just read the one after uh, Paddington. God, Kyle, unbelievable. <laughs> I'm proud of that one. Okay, here we go. Uh, blank first came online in 2016 and died in 2019. Incidentally, Blank himself would pass away in 2019. <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah, please uh, read it again. Let's see. Yep. Uh, blank first came online in 2016 and died in 2019. Incidentally, Blank himself would pass away in 2019. I think we should uh, say this question in a different way. Okay. All right. So the character in this movie came to life, came online in 2016 and died in 2019. Incidentally, the actor who played that character also died in 2019. The character came to life in 2016. And character in a movie. E oh, Ben? Ben, uh, I'm going to go what? with oh. Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Nope. I was trying to guess like Robert Patrick or something. Okay. I... But he's still around. Very close. Though. I don't think so. Just... Isn't he dead? No, he was in Peacemaker. Like, right? Is Robert Patrick dead? Yeah, he's in Peacemaker. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I... he's he's very, he's alive. I thought he was I, resting I in Peacemaker. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Well, never mind. Ah. Uh... Man, I, jeez. Oh, okay, so this is my chance to steal. Um, so it's a character. It was a short-lived character. <laughs> That's is so it, confusing. I, Fast and Furious Five. I don't know. I haven't. I don't know. Did That's my guess. Fast and Furious. Yeah, Steve Lucian, got to give it to us here. Uh, clues. Yeah. Oh. oh mm, sure. Hang on. What? <laughs> He guessed. He's saying, do we want clues? No, well, no, just give us the answer. Kyle, Kyle failed. Okay. Okay. I failed. So the answer was Blade Runner. Oh. Okay. It's Rut Rutger Hauer, I believe. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, and then it was like, so the the, the character was uh, created in 2016 in the fiction? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay, The movie's in the future. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All by right. the way, at I, the time it wasn't. I was thinking of Ray Liotta, by the way, for the actor that mm, died. Yeah, that was last year. Similar year? face. Basically, you could face swap them and be fine. So <laughs> yeah. I think that gets me a point. Yeah, here. Ray Liotta first got on Twitter in 2016. <laughs> 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 I remember. Uh, all right, Brian, you got the next one? Okay. Uh, to shoot the scene where Blank falls down the stairs... Blank and his team made a small replica of the stairs and pushed the model down. Ben? Uh, Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. Oh, Ben Ben said first. Okay. Is this The Shining again? It is not. Okay. <laughs> okay, my guess is Death Becomes Her. Ooh, good guess. But that is not, tr not oh, right either. but not right. Okay. Jackass 2? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what is it? Yeah. It is Robocop. Oh, Ed 209. Uh, okay, okay. Of course. Phil Tippett. The robot policeman. <laughs> More like Tippett down the stairs, right? Hey, he still hey. got it. Hey. Ben, have you watched Poker Face? No, I don't have Peacock or whatever it's on. There's there's basically an episode about a yeah. fictional Phil Tippett. Yeah. Yeah, I heard that. Have you watched the ILM documentary? 
on Disney+. I Plus. started it. I haven't finished it yet. Okay. Yeah, Brian, forgive me. I forget if it was you or Roz that recommended it, but it's so freaking good. Probably it's, Roz because I haven't seen it yet. Okay, dude. <laughs> dude, it's genuinely fantastic. Uh, it's so much better than so much other making of stuff on Disney. Um, anyways, okay, Bob, here we go. All right. It is four to three. Four Hanson, three Kyle here. So it's anyone's okay. game. Uh, this was the first horror film nominated for the Academy Award for Best Picture. Whoa. Oh, um. Oh, gosh. I have a. This is interesting. I can't. <laughs> I mean, I think I have an idea of what it is. I'm not a big Oscar person, you know? Um, Buzz in or don't go. I don't know the name. <laughs> I don't I, have the name. Can I give a vague clue? Sure. It is celebrating a big anniversary this year. This year? Uh, ben? Ben? Okay. I mean, horror is a stretch. Uh, I'll say, is it Jurassic Park? I, I can't imagine that was nominated. No. no. Okay. Oh, man. Um, I, I'm almost, I, this is embarrassing. Like, uh, I don't want to sit here and just ponder and like fill dead air, but the movie I'm thinking of is the one about the little girl who gets overtaken by the devil. Oh, sure. And what is it called? I don't know. That's the that is what's driving me insane. I cannot pull the title of that movie out of my brain. Maybe yeah, maybe if you just run around a little bit, get some exercise, it'll kinda of jump it into your head. This isn't helping me. I know you're giving me a clue, but I can't think of absolutely name. should. Uh, I'm gonna start this countdown at five yeah. four four three two one. I what is the name? Or even what's the name that I'm guessing and is it right? You're thinking Exorcist. Exorcist, thank you. Exorcist. And is that even the correct answer? That is the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I like it was just I couldn't I couldn't bring it. I couldn't pull it. I don't get that point. But my head was in the well, my head was in the wrong place. But right. it's, it's almost spinning in circles. You would have had it except <laughs> yeah. for Satan, yeah, consuming your soul. Okay. It's getting rebooted. Oh, I finally. Honestly, I saw the new trailer for that Exorcist film in a theater. It really freaked me out. Like, I haven't seen any Exorcist movie, but, like, it, it, Brian, was that with you? Were you in the theater for that one? I felt like the entire um, theater got chills from this trailer. It really was effective. I don't think I've seen it. Okay. But a fun note on that new Exorcist is they got the hell out of the way when Taylor Swift announced that her Eras Tour movie, mm. uh, her the release date for that, er, like, that and several other movies were like, okay, we're pushing back. We're out. We're getting out of here. <laughs> That's smart. Yeah. Hey, video games are doing that a lot. The Alan Wake 2 strategy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Starkiller, welcome to the show. Do you want to also read prompts here? Hey, I'm happy to. Great. Uh, where are we at right now? Are we on Hammer? Yes. Okay. Take it away, Hammer. In 1987, interview on Sinister Image, Vincent Price revealed that when this remake was released, Star blank wrote ben, him a letter ben, saying, "Ben, go ahead, Ben, the fly." That's amazing. Yes, nice. Thank That's you, correct. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what did you see in the original? Say? Oh yeah, hell yeah. That, that okay. original fly movie rules, by the way. Uh, what I did keep thinking that's also made by uh, the guy who did the thing, but don't get to stay corner. No, uh, yeah, different directors. Yeah. What was the rest of the quote? What did Goldblum say? Or he said to go to Goldblum. Oh. Uh, I hope you like it as much as I liked yours. Oh, that's good. Price was touched by the letter. He composed a reply and went to see the film, which he described as wonderful, right up to the certain point. Then he went too little too far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what are you going to do with Cronenberg? Uh, all right, B-Wood, whenever you're ready. Here we go. Blank was afraid of flying and would only do it when absolutely necessary. When they were shooting the scenes of the cast crossing the mountain, snowy mountains, he spent two hours every morning climbing from the base of the mountain to the set near the top, already dressed. The crew, as they were flown up, could see him from the helicopters. Oh boy. Interesting. This does sound familiar. That's interesting. A mountain movie. Ben? 
Okay. I'm gonna go cliffhanger. Incorrect. Okay. Did you say a year? Uh, or was that the previous one? Previous I did one? not. I did not say okay. a year. Do you want me to read it again for you, Kyle? Please. Okay. Blank was afraid of flying and would only do it when absolutely necessary. When they were shooting the scenes of the cat, sorry, let me read that again about this. When they were shooting the scenes of the cast crossing the snowy mountains, oh. he spent two hours every morning climbing from the base of the mountain to the set near the top, already dressed. The crew, as they were flown up, could see him from their helicopters. Uh, I don't think this is it, but I'm going to guess Inception. That is incorrect. I got to guess. I got to guess. Is... is it Lord of the Rings? Oh, Lord of the Ring? Oh. That is correct. That's uh, correct. Yeah, okay, yeah. And it was probably, it was um, Strider. Ian, Ian right? McKellen? Uh, Eric Horn. I don't know. We'll never know. We pr That's probably Sean for Bean. Sean Oh, that Bean. was, uh, you saying who was that? Yeah. Was, uh, yeah. Uh, Sean Bean. Oh, okay. Sean right. Bean. Mr. Bean. Himself. Well, I mean, if you were Sean Bean, you'd be scared to do anything scary, too, like being in an air airplane, because I think you're going to die all the <laughs> I time, know. right? He <laughs> wakes I up every do morning in that, terror. That puts me close to death. He won't even make toast. He's scared of anything. <laughs> uh, okay, Hazard, take it away. Awesome. The studio insisted on a great deal of explanatory dialogue as they described the screenplay as the script that nobody understands. Kyle? Go Kyle. Blade Runner? <laughs> I'm afraid that is incorrect, Kyle, but great okay. guess. I, it was a it was it was a dos, it was a dice toss because we already talked about Blade Runner. Yeah. What was I thinking? I'm oh, such a fool. Uh Ben? Go Ben. The Matrix? It is the Matrix. Yes! Well done. Wow. Yes! Good call. Thank right, yeah. you. Uh, what's this? Score? Bad call by the studio. Good call by Ben. Also, good call from Morpheus to Neo. <laughs> Greatest call of all time. Uh, Bob, what's the score? Seven to three. <laughs> Wait, seven? Oh, my God. Oh. You really ran away from me. Jeez. All right. Look I'll alive. always have Paddington. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Uh, we'll all get matching tattoos that say we'll always have that. <laughs> uh, all right. S sorry, Sea Evolution, is that where we're at? Yes. Okay. Cool. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Yes. So, the director intended the character to be a dark Walt Disney. However, while possibly unintentional, the character is also similar to P.T. Barnum. Great question. Great question. This seems like one of those trivia pieces that uh, wasn't like from an interview with the director and just someone wrote something. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm gonna go Ben. Okay. Tim Burton's Dumbo? No, incorrect. Yeah. Uh, do you mind reading it again? Yes. The director intended the character to be a dark Walt Disney. However, while possibly unintentional, the character is also similar to P.T. Barnum. A dark Walt Disney? Otherwise known as Walt uh, Disney, all right? <laughs> uh, Tomorrowland? Incorrect. Oh, would you like incorrect. the correct yeah, answer? I don't we know. would. Oh, Jurassic don't. Park. Oh! Oh! P.T. Barnum for him. Yeah, yeah okay. P.T. Barnum that, yeah. Is, the, sure. is the kicker there. All right. See, I I'm like saying, that. I don't think Spielberg <laughs> ever said that, is, is what I would guess. I, mean, I bet <laughs> Michael know, Crichton. Or Crichton. Yeah, you know, co-op never shuts up. I'm sure he's ranting and raving about it. Yeah. Do we, I don't know. Kyle, do you also feel burned by David Coep as a screenwriter? Maybe it's just because I'm such a Jurassic Park fan, but I feel like I, every other movie he's written, it's just like, ah, eh, okay. What are some? What are some? I don't know if I. Well, don't know he did the Spider, look. the first Spider-Man, right? Which okay, a Hall of Famer, no doubt about it. Um, oh, what about um, what was the Johnny Depp movie where he Man in the Cabin? What was that that he directed? Remember this? No, I, I, no, uh, uh Shoot Her was the big reveal. Has no one got my back on this? Like, 2004, Johnny Depp, th okay, never mind. I remember him wearing glasses yeah. and, like, looking off in the distance for the poster, right? Yeah. But I don't, yeah, the, I don't remember the, what that the movie lady, was called. The Lady is Him. Does anybody have the name of that film? Was it The Ninth Circle? No. No, that's no. where he goes to hell. Yeah. Let's see, hang on, let me see if Twitch chat has got this, because it's going to, Secret Window! Yes. Oh, no, there you go. go. Thank yeah, you, thank you. Yeah. He looks, he's like the most normal Johnny Depp's ever looked in a movie, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, that's true. Uh, all right, uh, Brian, is that where we're at? Okay. I have a feeling this one's going to be a race. Uh-oh. So, be poised. Uh, while filming a chase scene on Lake Street, the Chicago Police Department received several calls 
Ben. Concern. Ben. Yes. This is the Dark Knight. It is. Yes. Uh, Kyle, okay. come on, man. It's your favorite. Kyle, film. you're Mr. No you're Mr. Nolan. I am Mr. Nolan. Yeah. I. I Ben's <laughs> just too fast. I. I think I would have gotten there. <sighs> okay. What's the score there, Bob? Eight it is to three. eight to three. <sighs> okay, Star Killer, you're next in line. You ready to go? Definitely. Okay, great. Uh, all right, I'm looking at you, Kyle. This uh -oh. is the last major animated motion picture to be filmed on plastic animation cells. Uh, ooh. Ben? Ben? Oh, God. Um, Princess Mononoke. Okay. <laughs> wow, <No>. yes, correct. <laughs> yes! Really? Yes! Holy cow! I don't, is that even accurate? Honestly, hold on. Well, let's well, assume. Okay, if we're I... calling in the, uh, the validity of IMDb <laughs> trivia, this whole show's thrown out the window. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, you can have that point, Ben, but I just don't know if that's true. I just, I love, it's such a twisted tale, Kyle, because I would not have guessed that if Starkiller didn't say you got this I one, Kyle. Right. It was really, I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I was good. thinking, like, Home on the Range or something. Oh, like, funny. You know, that the last, like, right, well, right. not last. I mean, was Princess and the Frog animated mm. on... Right, I don't know. I just, like I said, you can have the point, but I just don't know if that's true. I, I, I would, I would okay. dismiss noted. that IMDb trivia if I saw it. Noted, noted. Okay, game, thank you. Game point here, Kyle. Game point, game face. <sighs> okay. Right. Well, for uh, you. <laughs> sure. Okay. Possibly for the game here, it is nine to three. This was the first animated film in Oscar history to be nominated for a Best Screenplay Academy Award, adapted Kyle? or original. Kyle? 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 Beauty and the Beast? Incorrect. That was the first oh. for Best Picture. Right, yeah. Um, okay. Boy, screenplay animated. I think I probably went too far back. I think I know what it is, actually. Oh, man. Um, ba uh, Ben? Ben? We're back, a dinosaur story? <laughs> Let me, can I guess before before you reveal the answer? Can I give another guess? Of course. Is it Shrek? It is not Shrek. Oh, no. What is it? Uh, Toy Story. Oh, oh Toy Story. that's embarrassing for both of us. That, ben. Yeah, we should we should hurt ourselves. All right, uh, <laughs> Hammer, take it away, please. All right. I I think like first of all, isn't it ironic you guys are doing this on the same week that Hollywood writer strikes is over? Yeah, we can finally <laughs> plug movies again. Is that what's happening here? Yeah. <laughs> Go see also, films, everybody. Run out. Run out to your theater. I feel like I'm, I'm not even going to get the question out, and you guys should get this. Oh, right. see, this this sets me up for failure, though, every <laughs> time. This yeah. one's for you, Kyle. Yeah, this one, You guys are going to race to We're this morons one. if you don't get this. Okay. Oh. No, I am. Ben, you're coming across very smart you, in this. Thank you. You're doing a great job, too. You're doing a great job, too. Oh, yeah. Thank you. So okay. pandering to me. <laughs> pandering. For the cornfield chase scene, Kyle, director, Kyle, 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 Kyle. Interstellar. Of course, that's nice. Okay. <laughs> nicely done. North by North. You had West. me a corn, Kyle. Uh, I yes, just, I just rewatched Interstellar on a flight recently. Me too. Did you really? Weird. Yeah, oh, I watched it two hours ago. Whoa, that is weird. <laughs> um, look, this is. I don't want to become this person because it's so obnoxious. I don't want to be an obnoxious parent person. But that scene where he's watching all the tapes for the first time of his kids aging, oh, and like his daughter God. won't come to speak into the camera, floored me. In a way, like in the theater, I was like, oh, this is a good movie. And like that scene now that I have a kid leveled me on that plane. Okay, now, Body now, slam. Ben, yeah. now take that and imagine seeing it, you know, without knowledge of what was going to happen in an IMAX theater. <laughs> right. Okay. That perfect. was brutal. <laughs> hey, you know what else is brutal? Um, again, that movie is a... You forget how cool that movie is if it's been a while it's since great. you've seen it. It's so good. Yeah. That, that said, it feel like it has so much momentum and then like that back third, there's just a little bit too much farmhouse stuff, Casey Affleck stuff. If, if you just cut out all of that stuff until the end and you see the daughter again in the bed, I feel like that's a better film. Yeah, 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 probably, yeah. And trust me. Did I, you guys remember that the son was played by Timothy Chalamet? It, 
wait, what? It shocked really? me. I did yeah. not remember. Oh, yeah. No, because, yeah, no, he gets asked know. about it a lot now. He's like, hey, your boy Chalamet. And he's like, well, yeah, he was like a, he was a baby in Interstellar. You know? I did not even catch that. And I just watched it. Granted, it was a plain screen <laughs> with glare, I guess. Yeah. Weird. Uh, okay, B Wood, whenever you're ready. Here we go. According to Blank, the Blank scene took three days to film and the use of 60 doors. I'll read it again. Yes. Oh. Yeah. According to Blank, the Blank scene took three days to film and, and the use of 60 doors. <laughs> ben. Ooh. Yeah, man. I'm gonna go with the number one door destroying film, The Shining. <laughs> and you would be correct. Oh! Yes. Whoa! All right. All right. I'll take yes, it. Yeah. Th that was unexpected. Here's Hanson. Kyle, if it makes you feel any better, <laughs> thank you, Hammer. If it makes you feel any better, my first guest was Monsters Inc. <laughs> like, nope. Same. Me too. <laughs> I thought the same thing, and I was like, well, that they didn't shoot. Monsters Inc. Uh, so it can't be Monsters Inc. It's so absurd. All right, we get we get one more for fun. Uh, Hazard, you want to take this last one? Sure. The real Blank is best known for playing Carmine Lupertazzi on The Sopranos and has had set roles in several Martin Scorsese movies. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> why so, can't I think of any Martin Scorsese well, movie uh, names? I'm still unclear from that prompt. Is it a Scorsese movie? I don't think it is. No, it's not a Scorsese movie. Oh, interesting. But oh, okay. well, it, can but you it won it an Oscar. Oscar. Yeah, Hazard, you want to read it again, please? Sure. The Real Blank is best known for playing Carmine Lupertazzi on The Sopranos and has had roles in several Martin Scorsese movies. So this is trivia for a specific actor? No, it's, it's, a, it's a movie. It's the movie. It's the movie oh. that's based on this probably crime guy's real life. Is oh. I think where we're going with this. Um, taxi Driver. Even though it's not a Scorsese movie we've established. <laughs> Just change so it to know. Taxi from Jimmy Fallon. You have better odds. There we go, yeah. Taxi. It's <laughs> not a Scorsese movie. Yeah. Let me make right, that right. Yeah, use that as well. All right, well, then I'm going to go Goodfellas, Hazard. <laughs> it is the Green Book, I'm afraid. Green Book. Oh, the Green okay. Book. All right. A movie I have not seen. Uh, all right. Hey, that's it for IMDb Movie Trivia. Thank you, everybody in the community, for first of all supporting independent content like this. Uh, coming up with those prompts in that Google Doc from the Discord. That's very sweet. The Discord you get access to at any tier on Patreon. Thanks to everybody at the MinMax Council tier, our hosts for IMDb Movie Trivia: Bob Dulehammer, Parsa, B Wood, Hazard, Steve Lucian, Starkiller, and special guest Brian Vor, ladies and gentlemen. Whew. Uh. Kyle, Thank you for having us. Yeah, hey. yeah, great job. Um, Kyle, if this gets voted on for second episode, which people can can do over on Patreon at the Backstage Past here, do you want to make it a rematch, or do you think we should? Yeah, shake it up? no, I'd want to. I'd want to. I'll I'll go again. I, I would, feel like I did oak. Okay. I I got the ones I got were good, but yeah. even though I lost by a pretty significant margin. No, no, no. You can hold your head up. Uh, it was, it was okay. a tough battle out there. I got lucky a couple times. I'm googling now the last movie to use uh, animation cells. I'm trying to figure out what that is. On plastic. I really don't think it's on, Princess Mononoke. On plastic. Maybe that's some on plastic. Weird. I I was I was googling it, Kyle, and I could not find any claims of, or uh, anybody verify those claims. It just kind of got repeated a lot. <laughs> So yeah, it's like right. It's like a, a a game that gets delayed is good. It's like one of those situations, right? right? Exactly. Yeah, I never actually said that. It's uh, it seems like it might be that it was uh, Ghibli's last animated film, and that that kind of got mixed mm, up with some other stuff. So that's confusing. that I can believe. But yeah, anyway, uh, Brian, the, the game's a mess, and it's nothing counts. Is basically what I'm trying to get at. That's right, uh, Brian. Uh, how would you have done in this competition? You think you could have smoked us? Hmm. I think you just had. Some of that stuff where you guys just heard three words and had it like, <laughs> even knowing the answer, I had to think about a couple of these. So I think I think you guys still well, the, got me pretty good, but it would one, be fun to when, try. Blind. Truly, yeah. truly, when you said corn, I had Interstellar because Nolan has <laughs> knew, multiple knew, like, times been like, yeah, one of the reasons chased. I wanted to make Interstellar was because it's very cheap to grow corn, and then we could sell the corn after the production. <laughs> he just wanted to be a corn salesman. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, hey, again, thanks so much for voting and supporting uh, IMDb Movie Trivia. Uh, you can vote for it next week and it'll return uh, and we'll be here waiting for you. All right. Thanks so much, folks. Goodbye.
Every week, we let Patreon supporters choose which new show we create with New Show Plus. Should we create another episode of the show you just watched? Check out the biggest new game release? Get into Sea of Thieves? Create an exercise show? It is your call. So thanks to everybody who subscribes on YouTube or supports us over on Patreon. MinMax exists because of you. As always, if you enjoy MinMax content, any help telling a friend is appreciated.